okay, the balance. What's the balance concept, new concept of AG? This is a unique feature. And this is the dream that Paco supported so much this project because, as you know, he make it evolve the guitar from the Cypress guitar, skinny tone, to the Negra, I think, back in the 60s. And this evolution will change many things. Uh, one of them was the raw material, of course, and a bit of the thickness become a, thick, thickest, a bit thicker guitar as well than what was the traditional, what were the traditional Cypress guitars. But this unique feature of AG, which is the fruit of many years of research, uh, came to the point in which now we can, we can have the guitar with total balance and, and I don't need to do anything pushing down with the arm or if I can move very freely, it means this of course it will affect my playing because here I do not need to hold the instrument. Now to get this kind of balance is especially uh, important to understand that this cannot be done with the either with the deep blanca guitar or with the female cherry guitar in 1927. Why? Because the, the top is smaller, the orma is smaller, and also it's very light here. Then therefore also should have a maple fretboard because this contributed to the balance, it changed the tone, the playability, the sound became much softer and much more adequate to flamenco and also it's a specific gear for flamenco contemporary guitar. Now this thing that was after years of research came to this perfection of balance, this thing either with, with traditional machine heads and or with the with the text, with the finishing text, like this guitar here, and this also has has perfect balance, and it's a smaller top, but it has to be negra, means a Brazilian rosewood guitar, and it has to be probably around 12 centimeters or 11.5, enough thick enough, and also if it is the smaller orna, then of course it has the maple fret for both and that helps to the balance thing, because if this is too weighty, it will go down, for sure. Now, this is total balance, too. And the friction pegs. If it has friction pegs, it can be a negra with a smaller, with the Barbero small orna, or plantilla, like this guitar right? <laughs> I have here. And if not, then probably this would be, especially if you are a big guy, this one will be interesting because this one has also the same balance and it has regular machine heads and this top is bigger than this, right? And of course both are, are negras. So this is the evolution of the negra thing and the balance which anyway, in fact, if you see just a female guitar with this excellent Santos Hernandez 1927 this guitar has to have also a look Almost you can hold it like this, it has much more balance than any other common guitar. But this one, as, as the cherry, being this female style guitar, is not so thick, probably 10.5 or 10 centimeters, and it's not so weighty, it cannot hold the same, the same thing like the negra. So, this balance stuff is about the negra guitar, it's exclusive for the negra guitar. And of course, the best idea is to have that on a on a, on a big horn, or if you like the pegs, then, then this one is great. Right? I like both. But this one here is also very much, com I am not very tall, and I feel this great, this one. So this is what I answer about your question of the balance thing, because it's important to understand that this can, can be only get, uh, be obtained when we have a negra. And it's not a, a concept designed for blancas or even for the deep blanca guitar, although those ones have also difference because even if, if it does not hold like that, it's much less what you have to be pushing here. You know, the postures, like how it was played before the guitar, if I try to play this like Savita's style, it's, it's just hilarious because this guitar is not designed to be played like that, it's designed to be played with the cross leg, the tackle, therefore this thing is very important and of course the balance it affects. Why do you have to be holding the guitar with the left hand or pushing down here to balance? It will affect how you play, that's for sure. And I'm very thankful to be having discovered this thing 30 years because this is a project of 2014, right? And it's an important year, very important year for the evolution of the guitar. Really speaking, 
If the classical guitar, as I demonstrate and prove it, the classical guitar and the so-called flamenco guitar are the same, really speaking. The same raw materials, the same design, same kind of environment of action. That's the, that's the meaning of this thing. This is just, it's, a, it's, it's not good idea to keep saying that's flamenco and things have to evolve, right? Just like airplanes evolve from the first airplanes to what airplanes are made now, everything has to evolve. So this is the evolution of the last thing about what Paco started back in the 60s. So here we have three guitars from left to right. Left is a big horma or big plantilla, which is excellent for balance. If it is made, of course, of Brazilian rosewood or weighty material on the back and sides, it's necessary to have that balance there. So it's the latest evolution of the Negra concept introduced initially by Paco de Lucia back in the 60s. So then we have at the center the red one. This is a, another Barbero plantilla, which is smaller than this. So this is the big plantilla, small plantilla of Barbero. And this one here is the Santos Hernandez plantilla, 1927. Right? So this one, yes, that's correct. So these two, of course, are different. You see the shape? The shape will define the way in which the waves of sound travel inside the guitar. Now, if you want a balanced guitar with, with that kind of balance, then we cannot have a female guitar like these cherry ones, either with machine heads or with regular machine heads or with friction pegs. But it has to be a negra because you need more weight on the back and side to compensate. And it has to have, if it is a small plantilla, then it should be, for example, Brazilian rosewood and friction pegs with a maple fretboard. And same like this one that has regular machine heads, but this one has the big orma, the big plantilla. So that can be, of course, ordered like that. So this is the big plantilla of Barbero. And then this one is the small plantilla of Barbero. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so this is the evolution of the Negra concept that Paco started back in the 60s. First, well, guitar was only of Cypress, as you know, and then he changed it to the Negra thing, uh, getting more, changing only a little bit of the measurements by making thicker the box and also changing the material, the raw material. Well, the bridge remained same, which was not evolved yet as it, as it is now. This is the classical bridge. This is the so-called flamenco bridge, which is really speaking the same like the classical one. And this is the really new flamenco bridge. This. The design is different, the material is different, the sound is different, the thickness is different, everything is different in the looks. And of course the precision of the strings of this has no comparison to to the other ones normally does them. or the classical one. Well, this is one thing. Now, the material of the of the sides, back and sides, which are different as well. Let me show you that because from there you will understand what was the evolution that Paco brought into the instrument. This is the classical one of Indian rosewood, which is another obsolete wood for, for flamenco. In my opinion now, is, that's what it is, because this is the classical, and this is the, the flamenco, the so-called flamenco one, which is the same. In fact, it's the same. Same tone, and the same, even thickness is the same. Then the, the next cedar, which is also same in the classical, then in the flamenco one. And then the angle, also very similar. Well, then we have that, and then from this, it evolved to this, to the flame maple neck and Brazilian rosewood. These exotic rosewoods are no comparison to that. That's why, to me, this is obsolete. And you know what? I, I have seen everything. And when I see guitars like that, I see them the same way as a teenager will see you holding the first cell phone invented nowadays in the, in the time of iPhones and all these uh, very marvelous gadgets, right? So how a teenager will see you holding that outdated first cell phone, which was a brick, that's how I see that. Thank you. 